Welcome back everyone, it's Nomad Flare here. As some of you may be aware, recently there's been a surge in handheld gaming devices being released on the market, such as the Steam Deck, the Logitech G Cloud, even the Xbox and PlayStation Backbone, etc. Therefore, in today's video, we'll be delving deep into a new groundbreaking addition to the realm of remote play and cloud gaming within the handheld gaming community, and that is the Absolute Handheld. This device has gained significant attention due to its exceptional affordability, rendering it accessible to a wide spectrum of gamers, a reliable Wi-Fi connection remains a prerequisite, as it's customary for any remote play or cloud gaming endeavor. In today's review, we'll explore the features, unbox its contents, scrutinize its screen quality, examine its battery life, delve into its Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities, and navigate its operating system. Additionally, we'll also check out how the Absolute performs in gaming apps such as the PlayStation Remote Play, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and Emulation. Then ending with my opinion as to whether the Absolute handheld is worth your hard-earned cash or not. Starting off with the unboxing. The review unit I received was packaged in a minimalist brown box, which has subtle information of what lies within. Upon opening the box, we are greeted with a meticulously crafted custom-fit carrying case, which displays the Absolute logo in a very subtle manner. This case appears to be durable and therefore protection shouldn't be an issue. The box also includes a single USB type A to type C charging cable. It's important to note that a charging brick isn't supplied. Therefore, you need to have your own in order to charge the device. Now, let's dive into the hardware. When holding the Absolute for the first time, you'll notice how lightweight it is due to its slender profile weighing around 430 grams. Its slim form factor makes it a game changer for portability, as I can carry this in my everyday carry sling bag, which is really convenient when traveling. Despite its compact size, the build quality conveys a sense of robustness when in your hands. The back of the console is equipped with an anti-slip surface for enhanced grip. The grip design is comfortable and ergonomic for users with small to average size hands, offering support during extended gaming sessions. The Absolute emulates an Xbox style controller layout, featuring dual thumbsticks, a D-pad, buttons that can change color, and four finger trigger buttons. A noticeable feature is the implementation of hall sensors for both thumbsticks and analog triggers. These sensors are powered by magnets which enhance performance, durability, and negate common thumbstick issues like drift or dead zones. It's worth mentioning that the thumbsticks are not full sized and resemble those found on the Nintendo Switch. This did take me a few sessions to get used to as I'm usually accustomed to larger sticks. I would love to see Absolute release something similar to Control Freaks that can provide extra height. For added convenience, the console incorporates four buttons positioned around the screen corners for easy access to various menu options, including the home page and in-game menus. Additionally, the device includes a power button and volume adjustment buttons on the top. In terms of ports, the Absolute features an AUX jack for wired headsets and a USB-C port for charging. A small port for SD cards is also available for users looking to expand storage. Built-in front-facing speakers, which enhance audio. However, for a more immersive experience, I will recommend enabling Bluetooth and using a wireless headset, or a wired one. A distinguishing feature of the Absolute is its lack of a dedicated CPU or GPU for gaming. Instead, it relies on streaming for gameplay, a factor contributing to its lightweight and quiet operation. Due to this feature, overheating is not an issue, so it definitely won't be getting hot like the Steam Deck. This design choice is favorable for a handheld gaming device. While this configuration may raise eyebrows for those accustomed to traditional gaming consoles, it has its merits in the context of cloud gaming and remote play. It ensures an uninterrupted and quiet gaming experience, even when streaming demanding AAA titles directly from your home console or the cloud. The absolute screen is undoubtedly one of its standout features, supporting a 1080p 7-inch Full HD display with a maximum refresh rate of 60 Hz. It allows gamers to enjoy their favorite titles at around 60 frames per second. The display quality is impressive, particularly while streaming games at the highest resolution and frame rate. To add, all devices come with a screen protector that doesn't take away from the visuals when gaming. Notably, there is a small bezel surrounding the screen, which is a minor compromise that aids in keeping the absolute's cost within an affordable range. A crucial aspect of any handheld gaming device is its battery life. And the Absolute doesn't disappoint in this department. Equipped with a substantial 5200 mAh battery, primarily designed for streaming and cloud gaming, it offers an impressive gaming runtime of up to 8 hours on a full charge. Although it's advisable to use the provided USB-C charging cable, as other cables may not deliver the same results. This extended battery life ensures gamers can enjoy uninterrupted gaming sessions whether at home or on the go. 
the inbuilt Wi-Fi performance plays a pivotal role in the absolute success for cloud gaming and remote play. It utilizes an upgraded Wi-Fi 5 module, a feature critical for maintaining a stable and uninterrupted connection between the handheld and your router. While the device's technology enhances signal reception, the overall gaming experience still hinges on the speed of your Wi-Fi connection. To optimize my PlayStation Remote Play experience, I use a LAN cable which I plug into my Wi-Fi router directly into my PS5. This ensures there's no lag when playing Warzone or other games like Apex or Fortnite. If you're looking for a high quality CAT8 internet cable, I'll link mine down below to check out. On the Bluetooth front, the Absolute employs Bluetooth 5.1, facilitating seamless connections to external devices such as wireless AirPods. This feature enhances the device's versatility, catering to various audio preferences and setups. The Absolute operates on the Android OS, a dynamic and versatile platform well suited for its purpose. Users have the flexibility to switch between the default handheld mode and tablet mode, which resembles the interface of an Android phone. While both modes have their merits, many users find the handheld mode to be more user-friendly, with easy accessibility to essential functions. The Absolute comes equipped with a selection of pre-loaded remote play and cloud gaming apps, offering a diverse range of gaming experiences. Now we're going to explore the Absolute's performance on the PlayStation Remote Play app, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and emulation of other consoles like the N64, Game Boy Color, PSP, etc. The Absolute's PS5 Remote Play app opens a gateway to the world of PlayStation gaming, allowing users to access their PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 console remotely. While this feature enables gaming beyond the confines of the living room, its success depends on the quality of the user's internet connection. Some users may encounter occasional stutters and lags, underscoring the importance of a stable connection. To set this up on your PS4 or PS5, just head over to the settings on your console, then System, Remote Play, and turn it on. Once connected through the app, the on-screen controls will pop up and then disappear after a few seconds. Okay, let's play some games. The app I really enjoy the most is Xbox Cloud Gaming. I don't need to own an Xbox, which I personally don't have. However, I have access to a large amount of games, ranging from the latest releases to old school classics like Gears of War, Halo, etc. Which are titles that I've never played in the past due to always owning a PlayStation console. Access to the diverse range of games cost me around $12.99 a month or $17 if you're in the US, which isn't bad at all. The 1080p display enhances gameplay, ensuring that games not only look, but also play impressively. Users can expect a nearly flawless and stable gaming experience. Moreover, combining the absolute with an Xbox Game Pass subscription presents one of the most budget-friendly gaming setups available, making high-quality gaming accessible to a broader audience. Onto emulation, there is a vast number of free and paid apps that can emulate various consoles like the N64, Game Boy Advance, PSP, etc. I recommend installing Digitio, which is a retro launcher that lets you manage your retro games library all in one place. This will save you time from having to go from one installed emulator to another as access to your games can all be reached all in one place. Let's try out a few games. Storage shouldn't be an issue as this can be expanded by using a memory card. 
However, I don't think you would need one unless you're installing large Android games and photos. The console is available at 32 or 64 gigabytes. I highly recommend going for the 64 as the price difference is minimal. The starting price is £172 in the UK or $209 in the US. The Absolute significantly undercuts its competitors, making it an attractive option for those considering cloud gaming and remote play. In conclusion, the Absolute handheld has ushered in a new era for cloud gaming and remote play enthusiasts. Its commitment to affordability, lightweight design, upgraded Wi-Fi capabilities, and impressive screen quality makes it a standout option. While it may not cater for the most demanding gamers, it really excels at what it was designed for, providing a reliable and accessible platform for streaming games from PCs and consoles. As the gaming landscape continues to evolve, the Absolute's place within it is solidified as a budget-friendly, portable and streaming-focused handheld, where whether you're an avid PC gamer or a console enthusiast, the Absolute offers a gateway to gaming on the go, all while keeping your wallet happy and therefore I highly recommend this handheld. I have left a link to the Absolute handheld in the description below if you're interested in picking one up. If you've reached the end of the video, comment Absolute Legend in the comments and I'll be sure to give it a like. I would appreciate if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and until next time everyone, take care. It's not a game, it's a red skin.